All right, the next step, now that we have all the posts in place <clears throat> for the holding pens or dividing pens, we're going to start laying the, uh, if you want to call it panels. We're using 2 by 8 treated, fastening them with headlocks four and a half inches long. Now, one thing I wanted to kind of point out for those who may not be familiar with how you can square something without lasers or tools or stuff like that that we have in the trades is uh, simply, you know, different names for them, batter boards, batten boards, you know, whatever. But essentially what you'll do on any spot, you can use a method, basic geometry, <clears throat> 6, 8, 10 method, or if you have an area that you want to make a square or a pen or whatever you might be might be making, pick one spot, and from that spot you can measure, you know, kind of visualize a triangle off that corner. There was our starting point over there. You'll see the stake just beyond that post. And even though we've got stuff we could have laid it in with, just due to room constraint, we actually used the 6810 method here. So what you'll do, and we'll use this corner as an example, as you can see we have a couple of stakes there. You'll measure one leg of a triangle at six feet, uh, one leg off the 90 degree part, and then the other leg off the 90 degree you will measure eight feet, and then at the end of those two points the long part, or in geometry which is the hypotenuse, you would take and measure ten feet to both ends of we'll say a tape measure and where they intersect at each end you can put another stake we'll say over there except ours is way on the end that I just showed you and then extend the other leg over there <clears throat> and then you can just repeat the process off of each each one and when you have a corner set up in order to work on that corner can just extend stakes beyond, take a string line, construction string line, not just any old string, and uh, you'll go past the post one way, loop it around the stake, bring it back to the other stake, loop it around that one, and then take off that way, and now you have the square corner to work with. As we set the post, it also helps then to get pretty darn close with the post actually being square in the corner with the other corner and then along the parallel side pretty pretty even because then you can follow that string and just lay your posts in right along the string. So anyhow, with that said, we're going to now start laying in the pen dividers. It's getting kind of late in the day here. But um, as soon as we get the pens constructed, the holding pens I should say, we'll probably take another progress vid at that time. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy them.